It is a huge day for Beyblade, and that's because we just got the official trailer for the Beyblade X anime, which is dropping in just one month. So let's just go ahead and watch the trailer a little bit and break it down. Okay. Okay. So there's Bird. There's our main guy. There's our main character. I will say um, there's definitely an art style change from the manga version of Bird versus the anime. The anime looks a little bit more like a Chad, to be honest. It's just the style is just a little bit different. But that's our guy. That's our main character, sort of. Kinda. Yeah. It, it's our main character. And there's Common X, the other kind of main character for this series, with his X helmet. And it looks about the same as the manga. And there's Multi De Nero, a blader who uses several Beyblades. And her design is just really cool. I like the kind of arrow, multicolored arrows, and then the rainbow kind of color in her eyes. It's just a cool design. And you can definitely see that there is a pretty big style difference between the anime and the manga. It looks very similar to Burst. I'd say it's kind of like a Burst mixed with MFB a little bit. There's Multi with her Night Shield costume where she's has like the top hat and whatever. So it's, you know, it's pretty cool. And there's X Tower and X Tower looks a lot more realistic in the anime, of course. I think it'd be kind of cool to see an X shaped building in real life. I just, I don't know if it's possible. Are there any architects or designers in the chat potentially? Could a X shaped building actually work? Oh, oh, go back, go back. Okay, so there is probably the fan favorite character. He's kind of like the secondary main from what we've seen from the manga so far. Although I would say he's kind of the main character, more so than Bird. Uh, we have uh, Kurosu, or Common X, but just X Cross, whatever, how, whatever his name is. His design has always just been really cool, whether it's the manga or now we see the anime. Uh, the gear shape kind of design in his eyes is really interesting. It's not something I think I noticed in the manga, if it was in the manga at all. And you can't really see it right here, but he has this blue X shape in his hair design. I think he is just the best X Beyblade character we have so far. And Bird has just been, Bird's been kind of lame as of right now, as of right now. The Beyblade X anime is starting in less than a month, so now is the perfect time to start your Beyblade X collection, and Mall of Toys is the best place for that. Through Mall of Toys, you guys can pick up some of the best X releases like Dran Sword, Hell Scythe, or even pre-order the upcoming Shark Edge Random Booster. They have a ton of other Beyblade X stuff up for sale as well, so go and check them out. Links in the description down below or scan the QR code somewhere and use code ILNUK to get 5% off of your first purchase. But now let's move on. One thing I do want to talk about is the music. I can't really play a lot of it here in this video because of copyright, um, but the intro song, or at least for this video, is Prove by One OK Rock, which I believe is a pretty popular band in Japan. And what I'm probably gonna say is most likely gonna anger the K-pop community or any K-pop fans watching this, but the outro for Beyblade X, I don't think we've heard so far, is done by Espa, A-E-S-P-A. -E it's a K-pop band. I don't really know much about, my cousin likes them though. K-pop stands, please don't come for me, I don't know. I'm not knowledgeable. Look at this like burst kind of sequence right here. This is kind of cool. You see the X and then a Beyblade just flinging off to the side. That's pretty cool. The animation for Beyblade during battles is always when it's at its best. Just because of Beyblade, it just makes a lot of sense. So seeing cool animation sequences like that is just kind of exciting. Oh, it's our first look at the Beyblades in the show. And they're just, you know, CG 3D models, just like they were for Beyblade Burst. Um, they look about the same. I mean, I don't think it looks any better or any worse than Beyblade Burst. Beyblade Burst looked pretty good though. We see a bird eyeball, which is pretty cool. Got a little X in there. Beyblade X, maybe, I don't know. Oh, okay. That's something I want to pause on really quick. Let's go back. Pretty interesting. I was talking about this, or we were all talking about this in my Discord. Um, in the manga, kind of a little spoiler for chapter one. It's not the biggest of deal. You're going to see it in episode one of the anime anyways. At the very beginning of chapter one, uh, Bird and his Beyblade Strike Hawk lose to a character named, I believe, Takumi and his Bay Stonemont Block. And Takumi destroys Strike Hawk. Just completely destroys it with these, like, Cl clampers and it looks like this scene in the trailer is that scene from the manga except instead of seeing a unique strike hawk 
we see like a wizard arrow recolor, I think, but it has like a bird chip right in the middle. So they're probably just gonna leave that as a manga exclusive. There's another battle. Okay, so we see Dran Sword versus Shark Edge. That's something else that's interesting. Um, we didn't see Shark Edge in the manga at all until like a couple of weeks ago. It was in like the third issue used by Maiden. And Shark Edge is coming out pretty soon, so stay tuned for the unboxing. But uh, we definitely didn't see that this early. So I'm thinking maybe they replaced Stone Mont Blanc um, or one of the other manga bays in those earlier chapters with a recolor to Shark Edge. Kind of disappointing though, because Stone Mont Blanc, like that's just a cool Beyblade name. And it kind of sucks that we probably won't ever see a release of it. Okay, here we can see the start of what I assume is the X dash. And once again, I mean, CG model, the Beyblade, it's approaching the um, X line. I mean, it looks good. It looks good. It looks like Beyblade, similar to Beyblade Burst. Yeah, it's definitely the start of the X dash. We see this exact same pose in the manga, although in the manga's art style, which, you know, I'll talk about later. Oh, that's cool. There's there's so much to look at here. It, you can see right here, as soon as it hits the teeth, it creates this cool like double color effect. This is cool. I mean, it's just nice to see the gimmick for the X dash and the X line look really cool in the anime, but also work really well in real life too. There's a little bit more cool animation right there. We see Hell Scythe up against Wizard Arrow. I think this is probably when Wizard Arrow was able to like maneuver and move around uh, during the chapter, but it looks cool. There's a lot of colors going on. I think your eyeballs will be satisfied. That was, that was weird. That was a, what a weird line. And it just zoom, just zooms across. This is, this, I love the animation so far. It's very, very colorful. And right here was one of the coolest announcements from this entire trailer. And that is the fact that it's dropping um, October 6th. 2023 so that is i don't have a watch on but i looked at my watch that is about one month away from now and it's going to be on tv tokyo so it's on an actual tv station not just a youtube release so the quality and the budget should be a lot higher and a 625 i believe means it's on at 625 p.m which i think is like a prime tv slot so this anime should be really, really good. Overall, I am stoked for this anime release, um, partially because it is a new Beyblade series. Of course, getting something brand new uh, versus Burst is really exciting. I do have like one complaint though, but it's really minor and it probably won't matter at all. But the art style between the manga and the anime is definitely really different. One of the things I like about the manga a lot is that it's done by the same artist as the Promised Neverland. And you can really tell because of some of the designs of the characters when in the anime, it's definitely a lot more clean and it's very similar to Beyblade Burst or kind of to Metal Fight a little bit. So it kind of lost that charm a little bit. Of course, I'm most likely gonna be wrong. Just because the art style is different doesn't mean that the anime is going to be bad or look bad. It's just kind of one thing I noticed. But let me know what you guys think of this trailer for the Beyblade X anime dropping in less than one month. And I'll leave a link in the description down below to the trailer if you guys want to watch it yourself. But hit the like button, hit subscribe to join the Nook Nation to see the best Beyblade X content in the world. It's true. It's true, though. And I'll see you in the next one. Have fun and bay away.